Alrighty, thank you, Dan. As we continue our team coverage of Hurricane Milton before making landfall, tornadoes just like this one were already causing damage across Florida. 126 tornado warnings were issued over the past 24 hours with nearly 50 confirmed, tor confirmed tornadoes. But how does this compare to other storms and how do tornadoes even form in the midst of a hurricane? StormTrack 15 meteorologist Michael Crowley answers these good questions. This is one of the many tornadoes spun up by Hurricane Milton before it made landfall on the Florida Peninsula as a major hurricane. Several of these tornadoes were long tracked and intense, causing some very early chaos before Milton's arrival. By the end of the mayhem, 126 tornado warnings were issued in Florida alone, making it the second most tornado warnings ever issued in one day in one state. The most was back in 2011 during the super outbreak, where 134 tornado warnings were issued in Alabama alone. The prelimi preliminary number of confirmed tornadoes as of Thursday afternoon is 45. The National Weather Service crews are still in Florida now surveying the damages. And the next few days and into the weekend, we could see this number go up even more. So if it does, we're going to have to see where this ranks in the top five most tornadoes produced by a single hurricane. It likely won't beat out number one Ivan, which has 120 tornadoes in that storm, but it does have a shot at passing Hurricane Andrew, which has 62. That was back in 1992. Now, this isn't uncommon for a hurricane to produce tornadoes, but at this magnitude is very impressive. Tornadoes typically form in what we call the upper right quadrant of a hurricane. When you think about the storm's motion, think about which way the storm rotates as well. The side that rotates along with the motion of the storm, this creates a very tornado prone area. We also usually see the worst impacts on this side of the storm as well. Now take Milton's track, for example. If we turn the track a little bit, we can see that tornadoes are exclusively on the right side of the, of the track. So Milton's size and the strength coupled with the shape of the Florida Peninsula likely resulted in the extremely high tornado count. Now, if you want to see a good question of your own answered here on News 15, scan this QR code that you're seeing on your screen right now. That will send you over to my email, mcrowley at kadn.com. And I look forward to any good questions that you have for me, and I hope to see them right here on News 15. I'm Storm Track 15, and meteorologist Michael Crowley, and I can't wait to hear from you.